Today I thought I would show you a rose gold makeup look just because there seems to be like a few of them going around and I just really love it as a spring makeup look. It's just really, really nice. So if you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. And let's get into the video. So I've already done my base and my brows. This is a Bella Pierre base primer, which I really, really like. A couple of you have asked me about primers and um, I know Lily Lolo do a really good one but um, I really love this one. Um, um, this is just the Bella Pierre makeup base. So it's just really nice to go all over your eyelids to help the powder stick. And I'm then going to go in with an all over color of like a really cream, creamy, creamy. I'm gonna use the Lily Lolo color here, which is like a really nice just base color. So I thought it was high time I did a bit of a chatty video for you because some of you have said you really enjoyed the other ones that I've done. I feel like it's high time I did a chatty makeup tutorial because a lot of you have said that you've really enjoyed my shorter ones but you'd also like some chatty ones. So I thought I'd mix it up, which is quite nice, isn't it? So I'm basically just putting the Lily Lolo, which palette is this? This is the Smoke and Mirrors palette and it's the lightest color just all over my eyes, just as a really nice base colour and then putting some underneath the eyelid as well. Okay, done. Cool. The next colour I'm then going to go in with is this nice little brown colour and I'm going to put that in the socket of my eye before we then move on to the um, bigger colours really. I always find with natural eyeshadows you kind of have to wet them um, to get the full effect of what you want um, just because they sometimes don't come out very well. So I've just put that really messily into the socket and then I'm going to use a blending brush just to blend. It doesn't have to be very neat at all because you'll blend it lots and it's just kind of a transition colour really and just to give your eyes some depth. And then we're just going to do the same on the colour. So just put it on really messily and then you just blend it out. You've got to love a good blending brush. I'm also hoping that you can see this a little bit better because it's not as late in the day, it's early in the morning. It's 10 a.m. so I'm hoping that the brightness of the windows won't drown out all the colour because I use natural light for my videos. So a few of you have asked about that as well. Just natural light. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping you can see, yeah you can, you can. You can see the colour a little bit better. I'm then going to use the Bella Pierre Earth Eyeshadow. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It's shimmery, so it's going to be a bit of a shimmery look. Let me put my makeup brushes down and I'll try and show you without, without it all falling out. But it's really, really gorgeous. And um, I'm going to use that, oh, uh, again, as a transition colour. So I'm going to put it on dry first, and then I'll build up the intensity if I want to with um, some water added to the brush. I always find with... Um, these shadows, try and dab them on first, just because you don't want loads of colour fall out underneath once you've done your base. I mean, you can do it before, I mean, before you put your makeup on, so then if you do get any fallout, then it's totally fine. But um, I've already done my makeup, so I just put a little bit of Always start with a little bit and then build it up, so then you can always get more intense if you want, rather than trying to take makeup off and then just ruining everything. So I've just, you saw that now, I was just putting it into my socket and I'm just blend, and on the lid and then I'm just going to blend it out. Oh, it gives such a nice colour already. So cute! And you can use a tiny bit of the excess to come, start coming down underneath as well. But the trick is to just keep blending with everything. Blend, 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 blend. The thing I love about Bella Pierre eyeshadows is, is that they're so pigmented. Myself and another blogger um, in the UK absolutely love them. Um, we kind of obsess about them quite a lot because there's, well, I just struggle with some eyeshadows and the pigment of them. They're just so light. They're beautiful, but they're just so light. And sometimes you just want a really glam look and you can't really get it um, unless you wet the brush. I mean, in which case, if you wet the brush, then you can. But I don't want to always have to wet my brush. I like it dry. Has anyone noticed when you get in your 30s, your eyelids start to wrinkle a little bit, like when you put your blush on, like it's just not as 
fort around that area anymore. It really bugs me. I'm then going to go in with the Coco Bella Pierre eyeshadow, and this is just slightly darker than um, what I just put on, which was the Earth. And I'm going to put that on the outer V. So, and again, we're just going to pat it on with the same brush. I'm using a really tiny brush. You can go a little bit bigger. So as you can see, I'm just dabbing it on and then we'll blend again. And don't worry about this area here. We can always clean it up in a little bit. So a little tip from my blogger friend and I. Um, we both used to buy our Bella Pierre eyeshadows from TK Maxx because they're really quite expensive everywhere else. And in TK Maxx, they normally have like a contour palette, they have some eyeshadows in there, they just have little kits of them. And instead of them being like 30 pounds or however much they are, they're like 10 pounds. So I'm then just gonna go slightly underneath the eye as well with any leftover eyeshadow on there. Just to add it in. And then I'm gonna blend that out as well. Just if you wonder what I'm looking at, I've got another mirror over here, which is a bigger one, so I can see the bigger picture, as well as the small one here. And my eyesight's not that good that I can just stare over at that one. <laughs> I've lost my glasses and I just don't know where they are. Try and what you see, I've made a mistake here. So I've gone a little bit, brought my eyelid down by putting the eyeshadow on here by accident. What you wanna try and do is keep the eyeshadow in line with your eyebrow, so then it doesn't make your eyes look droopy. But if you made a mistake like me, just get a tiny bit of tissue and just wipe it away slightly. Then it shouldn't make it look very bad. And we can always fix it a bit more later with some um, concealer. Now I've got a makeup brush with a tiny bit of concealer on. It's a Hint Beauty concealer and I just want to try and clean up around here. Like it's, I've got a teeny tiny amount on there. So it's just to get rid of some of the excess down here. So we've got a lot of browns in here and I've um, we've got a lot of rose gold colour in here now. So what I'd like to do is add some lightness back in. And this is their Eau Naturelle um, Cosmetics colour in Tupelo. And do you want to see? Do you want to see? And it's really light and shimmery again. So I'm just going to put that on the blending brush. I'm going to add it to the corners of my eyes and just blend it up. I'm mean, just putting into the corner of my eye and then blending it out and then also a bit underneath here as well. I also just want to go in with the lightest colour on here so I can highlight the brow bone as well. I know I've put blush underneath there but I'd like a little bit more lightness and this is a really good colour to do that with. And it also just kind of gives a little bit more dimension compared to the shimmer down here, but I'd like to put some more lightness down here too, just so it's not too shimmery. And um, again, this is just with the light in the light palette, like lightest colour in this in palette. Oh my God, I can't speak. It's just with the lightest colour in this palette again. So I have a question for you. Out of the green eyeshadows that you use, or the natural and organic ones, which one is your favourite? Which brand? I would love to know, so if you could leave a comment down below, that would be amazing. So I've actually put on the light colour first and then I'll put the shimmer on now again. And it should have been the other way around, but I'll just redo it. Oh, I feel like I have a sparkly eyebrow as well. I really like how the matte eyeshadow over the shimmer quite reduces the glitteriness down, but it still gives it a really nice colour. What do you think? So I'm going to then just put some eyeliner on. I'm going to use the Jane Eyedale. This is their gel eyeliner. And I always wet my brush to put this on. Um, it just, I don't really know why, I just feel it makes it a lot smoother on my eyelid, especially after I've put eyeshadow on. So I've just put a winged line on my eyes. It's just really, really simple. Nothing too exciting there. Then I'm going to use the RMS mascara. And I'm going to use about three coats of this. This is what I always tend to do, just because I feel like it gives the best effect. So I had to go offline to do the mascara. I mean the eyeliner, just because you have to get really close up and I can't use a tiny mirror like this. If you'd like a tutorial, 
on how to do winged eyeliner then let me know so those are my eyes done so i'll just get my hair ready and then i will show you the finished look <laughs> this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you did because it would absolutely make my day and I will see you again on the next video